Back in time now for our Neblet Beard and Arsenal Legal Difference segment. Wes Graylap with me now. We're going to focus, continue to focus on hurricane recovery, uh, chat a bit about homos, homeowners insurance in the aftermath of the hurricane. So, uh, Wes, thanks for joining us once again. Good to have you. Thank you, Mark. You know, uh, I know that everyone is still recovering from Hurricane yeah. Laura, and you know, our prayers and thoughts are with everyone. But I think now is a good time for our viewers to consider their homeowner's policies and what does it cover. I know a lot of folks are having issues with deductibles and yeah. whatnot. So I thought just a, a basic uh, lesson in, in what homeowner's insurance is and how it you know helps you during these times would, would be beneficial to our viewers. Okay, yeah, good idea. Homeowner's insurance, uh, the policy, what does it typically cover? Well, it, it covers your home, you mm -hmm. know, the, the dwelling. It covers your acts of negligence, and it covers when other people are hurt on your property. Uh, that we call medical payments coverage. Okay, does it cover other structures on your property also, Wes? It, it usually covers whatever is attached, or if you specifically have a permanent structure, like a detached garage or a pool house mm -hmm. or something like that then it'll cover it however if you you know bring in a portable metal building to store your lawnmower and stuff like that then typically those things are covered yeah what does liability insurance cover liability insurance covers when you have a guest in your home and you do something negligent to cause them injury hmm. and so that's far different than someone uh getting hurt because of their own fault this is if you do something that causes injury to another and it was negligent like if you leave the stove on and somebody touches it with their hand and you told them it was cool well yeah. you know you're at fault for that but you have insurance for that Wes what what is a dwelling coverage what does it include dwelling coverage is what everyone is experiencing now and basically yeah. You know, if you have a storm, uh, your dwelling coverage is either going to be uh, replacement cost value or value at the time it was uh, destroyed. And so mm -hmm. uh, if you have a root, a tree fall on your roof and you have replacement value coverage, well, then they're going to pay what it costs to uh, repair uh, your roof. Yeah, and replace your roof. Okay. But if you don't have that, then your roof is 10 years old, then they're going to pay you for a roof that's already aged 10 years. Mm -hmm. um, how much dwelling coverage does one need? Yeah, that's a great question, Mark. Uh, your insurance agent uh, does an estimate of your house, mm -hmm. and then it also uh, does an estimate of the replacement value. And you really, if you can afford it, you really want to get replacement coverage costs because, you know, construction costs are going up and they're always going to continue to rise. Mm -hmm. And if you lose your home to a fire or to a storm, you're going to want to rebuild that home to what you had before and not take the value of it when you bought the insurance because it'll be far less. Yeah, and d during this time in the aftermath of the hurricane, a lot of people have uh, questions about the homeowner's insurance, what it covers and what it not uh, doesn't cover. So uh, just call you with questions, huh? Yes, sir, Mark. We can we can be reached 24-7 at Neville Beard and Arsenault, 561-2500. Got it. Wes, thanks for joining us once again. Good to have you on the phone this morning. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right. We have more. Stick around on this uh, Thursday.